Welcome to my allotment, plot 3, North Warwickshire. First seed sowing of the season. We've got a red cabbage on the left and a greyhound pointed cabbage on the right. And I shall be sowing those into the toilet rolls. I'll put a little separator in there because I do intend to do successional sowing. And hopefully I'll beat this club route. From previous videos you know that I get my friends and family and work colleagues to collect the toilet rolls including the tops of the copier paper. What I do is fill the whole lot with seed compost even the gaps in between and then when the plants are big enough and ready to move on I'll repot them or they go straight in the ground. This time of the year I'll be taking these home and putting on top of my hot plate. The combi boiler but don't tell the wife. So I use the mushroom trays I've learnt that I need to put a little bit of cardboard in the bottom which you saw from a previous video these will be saturated to a point where I can put them into this tray so it doesn't get too wet and then they'll go on top of the combi boiler until the plants show and I will be covering them with one of the traditional propagator covers. I'll move on. So the compost's in. Now I use clover products from the allotment shop. There's no debris, no big lumps and I've had really good success uh, throughout 2015. And as you can see I've filled all the gaps. That helps retain the moisture and stops the toilet rolls falling apart. Once you've got a good root ball system there shouldn't be too many issues when you uh, transplant them on. OK, I'll just uh, show you the way that I'm going to be putting the seeds in. On Muddy Boots' uh, latest video, if you don't subscribe to Muddy Boots, you should do. It gives you some really good uh, good tips. So, you know how difficult it is to put seeds in, and Nigel showed this already, but he did remind uh, all his uh, subscribers. But it's so much easier to uh, make sure you get the right amount of seeds in each one. I'm putting two seeds to each station and I will be removing or cutting off the, uh, the weakest, weakest one. so simple. How many times have you tried to pin, pick one up with your fingers and put too many in? We're not too fussy. You don't really have to worry about how many seeds you do get in. But some of these seed packets you don't get a lot for your money. away there. But these are the red cabbage and I put the label in there. I wasn't concentrating and that's the second one I flicked out.
So that's all the stations filled. I'm just going to put these seeds back into their into their packet. And I'm going to cover these now with the uh, Mickey light. I've tried covering st stuff up before, and these pots have been pre-watered with tap water we mustn't be using water from out of our barrels for the seeds could contain uh, bacteria that would harden the seedlings seed compost doesn't have the nutrients in that multi-purpose does because the seeds have their own supply of goodness and food to get them going before you need to plant them on and feed them in the future so that's the red cabbage done I'll move on now and do the greyhound. So that's the easy bit done. The hard bit is getting them into the house on top of the combi boiler without the good lady finding it. I'll make my way home and I'll show you where I put them. So that's where I'm putting them and I'll keep an eye on them and keep you updated. Thanks for watching everyone, take care till next time.